Hello Hitman fans! In this video I'll show you how to complete the following challenges. Very important person, sweet victory, fish slapping dance, free fishy and 47 on the Scoville scale. Let's begin. We go through the main entrance. We don't have any weapons so there shouldn't be a problem. This is just standard procedure. How much time remaining? Don't worry, folks. You anything you don't forget. To go inside the VIP section, we need a VIP pass. We acquire a VIP pass from a guy who sells them. When I say acquire, I mean we subdue his ass and we steal it from him. Oh my god, I'm stressing out so much right now. We have no coins. We need coins. We can find some coins here. This is the guy. Throw a coin to lure him here. Pick up the VIP pass he dropped. Now we go and present it to the guard at the VIP access point. We go to the kitchen near the VIP lounge to get some items needed later in the game. Follow me. Throw a coin to lure the waiter. We can't do anything in the kitchen without him watching, so he has to go. The other NPC in the kitchen is a chef, but he is occupied at all times, so he doesn't present a problem. Let's drag him in a more secluded place. Take his outfit. Now let's go in the kitchen and take the necessary items. Take the fish, the bag of sugar and from the pantry take the emetic. Let's get out of here. We go all the way down to the staff locker room. To complete the challenge Sweet Victory we have to sabotage Moses Lee's car by pouring sugar in his gas tank. We have the sugar. What we need is a Kaun Mechanic Disguise and a Pit Building Key Card. Kaun Mechanic Disguise, check. The key card is on the towels. Let's infiltrate the Kaun Garage. There is an enforcer here. Before doing anything else, we must get rid of him. Tamper with the generator to lure him here. Now hide in the closet and wait for him. The Kaun team can function with one member in the closet, but if you decide to subdue more, don't. If you knock out one more member of the team, the remaining mechanics won't be able to perform the pit stop. Without the pit stop routine, 47 won't be able to sabotage the car. Let's prepare for the pit stop. Using the mouse, highlight the funnel and press E. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. We go back to the staff locker room to get the waiter disguise. To complete the challenge 47 on the Scoville scale, we need to drink the chili shot during the drinking game with Sierra. To enter the game, 47 has to impersonate Moses Lee. We could have taken Lee's outfit in the garage, but I thought it's too risky. Too many people around. 
So I decided I'm going to take his clothes the old fashioned way, by poisoning his beverage and waiting for him in a bathroom. We go to the Kaun paddock. Careful, there is a waiter here who's an enforcer. Now we go to the downstairs bathroom and wait for Moses Lee to come and throw up. Drag him in the corner so he won't be visible when we open the door. We leave him here. We're going to complete the 47 on the Scoville scale challenge after we kill Robert Knox. Sierra Knox is currently going to the podium to celebrate. She's going to go to the VIP lounge much later. In the meantime, we deal with her father. Robert Knox will be slapped with a fish while he is standing on the shore. By killing him in that manner, we complete the challenge fish slapping dance. The challenge can be completed by slapping any NPC on the shore and causing him or her to fall in the ocean. We use Robert Knox because he's a target and his death is sanctioned by the ICA. In other words, we won't lose our Silent Assassin rating. We go to the pier. There we shall assume the identity of Florida man, take his key and open the food stand. We serve Robert Knox poisoned coconut bowls. He goes near the water to vomit. You can easily imagine what happens next. I have to wait here for a while. There is an NPC close to the pier looking this way and the security guard will soon walk on the pier. While they certainly weren't the favorites, they somehow managed to... It's now safe to subdue Florida Man. Take his clothes and don't forget the key. We need an emetic. Follow me. Emetic acquired. Let's go to the food stand. Poison the coconut bowls and wait for Robert Knox to appear. 47, Robert Knox is on the move. If I'm not mistaken, he's heading down to the bayside food stand selling coconut bowls. Mm, smell alone is Make sure he is highlighted and press G to serve. Hi, you want to try something food, but I've sure different? Got so, what's good? Everything's to die for, Mr. Knox. Excellent. Maybe one of these. The race is entering its final lap, 47. Mmm, that was superb, my good man. I'll be back for more in a little while. Get out of my way, damn it! I was afraid the bodyguard will stand too close to the target while Robert Knox throws up and he might hear when 47 slaps him with a fish. I dropped all my coins, attempting to lure the bodyguard as far away as possible from the target. As it turns out, the attempt to lure the bodyguard away failed and my fear was proven unsubstantiated. Make sure no one is watching and... Robert Knox down. Now for the heir to the Kronstadt Empire. To complete the challenge, free fishy, throw the fish into the ocean. Dressed as Florida man, it would be difficult to go back to the race. The waiter disguise is better.
Sierra Knox has celebrated on the podium and she will soon go to the VIP lounge. We need to go to the Kaun paddock and disguise 47 as Moses Lee. Afterwards, we go to the VIP lounge and wait for Sierra. Another day, right? Now we wait. Alright then, I'm glad you finally found the brass to get this over with. Here's the deal. There are six shots, one of them is spiked with a solid helping of chili. To complete the challenge 47 on the Scoville scale, we must drink the chili shot. Press D twice to position the shot in front of 47 and drink. Alright Lee, this won't be pretty, but I'm guessing it burns, doesn't it Moses? No need to continue the drinking contest. Press space to detach from the game. Not to, hell with this. to complete the mission, we must kill Sierra. But before we do that, let's disable the surveillance system. Turn on the vacuum cleaner to lure a security guard. In the closet he goes. Let's take his uniform. As a security guard we can roam free inside the security room. Let's knock this guy out. Disable the surveillance system. The routine of Sierra Knox is as follows. From the VIP lounge she goes to the garage. From there she goes to the Kronstadt paddock. From there, she goes to the VIP lounge, and so on and so forth. We intercept her at the paddock. There are two bodyguards here. Turn on the radio to lure one of them. Pick up the pistol and drag him to the nearby closet. We use the same trick to lure the second bodyguard. Take the pistol and put him in the closet. The bodyguard disguise is not necessary, but I didn't want to be trespassing anymore. It made me feel unwelcome. Now we wait for Sierra Knox to appear. She is followed by her girlfriend. We get rid of her first. Turn on the radio. Irritating. 
Sierra Knox is now in a spot where she can be seen by the people outside. We must lure her away from the eyes of the public. Mistake. She saw me near the radio and she became alerted. Now she won't move away and I have to kill her here, risking to be seen by the crowd below. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for we exit the mission via the ambulance. We need a medic disguise. Crap. Someone from the crowd must have seen something. I'm telling you, Miss Knox is going to be You're a patriot. A medic disguise can be found here. Now I say goodbye, and until next time, keep those pistols near the minimap green. Don't screw up like I did.